Justin was thinking um, trouble in my way, Jesus will fix it. Then I'm going to do the way Pastor trained me. I, this is what I believe I heard the Lord say. He is fixing it, but he's fixing us first. All right. So just think about it. For me, for example, I had a bad day on Friday. I could have reacted, overreacted to a situation, but the Lord helped me keep my peace. And then I saw, I saw a girl. Then I was coming home. I was at the stop sign on Connors Road by the Senior Citizen Center. Stopped. And then a guy in the Audi hit me. Actually, he tapped me. There was no damage. He's like, well, you're supposed to turn. I said, I have to stop first, but they already turned. And I said, it's okay. And then he put out his fist so I can give him some depth. I was like, Lord, just get me out of here. I go. <laughs> but I say that to say, God is fixing us. Our troubles are to strengthen us. Our troubles are to make us strong. Our troubles serve as a testimony. So what I want to encourage you, don't worry. Don't give up. Because there's been times I just want to throw out, throw out the towel, say, Lord, I don't understand. Why have I been going through year after year after year? But he's with us year after year after year. So let's go to the throne of prayer. Father God, we praise you. Lord, we love you. We magnify you, Lord. Father God, I ask that you forgive us of all of our sins, Lord God. Father God, we confess, Lord God, today that we don't always get it right. Father God, we confess that sometimes, Lord God, we know more than you. Sometimes we know more than our, think we know more than our spouses. Sometimes we even think we know more than the pastor. But Lord God, one thing I know, Father, when we come humbly before you, when we confess our sins, Lord God, you will come and cleanse us, Father yes. God. And I see you do that, Lord God, every time we come together at Macedonia. So, Lord God, I just pray, Lord God, that you just continue to be with the congregation, those who may watch, Father God, on YouTube, Lord God. And I pray, Father God, for continued growth, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that we will see the fruit of the Holy Spirit within us, Father God. Not, not selfishness, Lord God. Not bitterness, Lord God. Not unforgiveness, Lord God. Not jealousy, not hatred, Lord God. Not conceit, not pride, Lord God. But we want to see your love, Father God. So, Lord God, we just thank you for being in our midst, Lord God. We already know that you're here, Lord God. So I pray, Father God, you bless each and every person under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Bless Pastor Father God as she brings forth the word, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that it will go forth in power and demonstration of your spirit, Lord God. Prepare our hearts, prepare our minds, Father God, to receive the word, Lord God. And as we leave this church, Lord God, help us, Father God, not to lose your word. Help us not to let Satan steal the word, Lord God, that is implanted in us, Lord God. Help us to stand, Lord God. And we've done all the stand, help us to continue to stand and give you all the glory, all the praise, Lord God. Have your way in this church. Have your way in this community. Have your way in our country, Lord God. Have your way in our world, Lord God. And for that, we will give you praise, we will give you honor and the glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray and we say thank you, Lord, because it's already done. We thank you for fixing it, Lord God. We thank you for fixing us, for fixing our homes, for fixing our church, for fixing all
God for you attending on this Sunday morning, our 4th of July. Amen. Amen. Some of you may have uh, already cooked. Amen. Some of us are still trying to cook. Amen. But we just want you to thank, thank you for coming in and gracing our services this morning. Amen. 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 I'm just so excited about this Sunday morning. Amen. Our Independence Day. There is a word from the Lord on this Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. And we're still in our theme. Amen. I'm just going to name it our summer theme now, if you will. Uh, some of this and some of that. Amen. Some of this and some of that. The word is coming from John the 8th chapter. John the 8th chapter. Amen. Beginning at the 31st verse, if you will, when you find it, stand to your feet. We're going to read 31 through 36. Amen. I'm going to see if I can bring this word to you with the help of God. And, amen. Amen. And get on out of your way so all of us can go home and eat those ribs. Amen. John, the 8th chapter, verse 31. Amen. John 8 and 31. Some of us might put baloney on the grill. <laughs> All right, All right. Okay. Amen, John 8, 31. Amen. And the word of God reads, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Amen. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How saith thou, You or ye shall, make, shall be made free? And Jesus answered to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Amen. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son, son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, it is in the name of Jesus we come to you this morning as humble as we know how. Lord God, thanking you for what our eyes have seen, ears have heard. Lord God, we thank you for the praises that went forth on this Sunday morning. Lord God, from our lips, and pray, Lord God, they, they touched your heart this morning. Yes. Dear God, we thank you for the sincerity of your children. Lord God, and how that we intend to worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes. Lord God, we thank you again this morning for those that have come out waiting to hear from you. Lord God, we ask you now that if there is any sin in me, I ask you to forgive me. Lord God, so that your word, nothing will hinder your word from coming forth to this waiting congregation. Then, Lord God, I ask, Father, that if there is any sin in the congregation, that you will forgive them. Lord God, so that they will not be hindered from hearing what your word says, Lord God, that they might follow. Father, we just thank you right now for your forgiving power. We thank you, Lord God, even as we study the Old Testament, we understand much better, Lord God, the importance of Jesus Christ dying on Calvary's cross for our sin. Lord God, we thank you for that, your word on this morning, that, Lord God, it will go forth and it will touch those that you intended to touch, Father God. It will do the work. Lord God, that you intended to do. Yes. Father God, your wedding congregation, they are listening. Yes. Speak, Lord God, Speak now. Speak. For it is in Jesus' yes. name we do pray yes. and ask it. Amen. 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 And amen. You may be seated. Amen. You may be seated. We want to use for a subject on this Sunday morning. Everybody or everyone wants freedom, but nobody want to pay. Everyone wants freedom, but no one wants to pay. Everybody wants freedom, but no one wants to pay. To pay. Today on Communion Sunday, as we celebrate Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, we are also celebrating what we know as Independence Day. Amen. Amen. 
and the Independence Day. Both of them offering or bringing a type of freedom or liberty, supposedly. What a good coincidence, amen, that we can celebrate what Jesus did for the believer versus what the world is trying to do for his people. Mm. We have been hearing a lot lately in the last five years about freedom and people's rights. Or maybe it's just that I have been paying attention more to the use of the word. But in order to keep up with uh, the meaning, of, because things change depending on the generation that you're in, uh, I have been forced to research how it is used grammatically as well as functionally and what is the meaning behind the word freedom. And I am still not sure I have it according to the world. But according to Webster, the word freedom means the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Mm. The word freedom means to the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. In other words, it means that we are asking to do what we want to do, Amen. when we want to do it, Amen. to who we want to do it to, Amen. and how we want to do it, Amen. without anyone saying anything to us yes, negatively or correctively about what we're doing. Amen. 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 I, I have to stop right here for a moment and, and insert this because I'm thinking about last night, amen, somewhere around 10 o'clock. You see, my neighbor had the right, if you will, according to Georgia's law, to shoot firecrackers, amen? Yeah. Amen. He had the right, according to Georgia's law, to shoot firecrackers, amen? But my right said I had the right to rest if I wanted to, amen? But somebody had to pay, amen? And guess who had to pay? because he wanted to use his right to pop the firecrackers late in the midnight hour when I was trying to sleep, amen? Amen, and of course, you know my dog, Scotty, dogs just don't like firecrackers and all of that stuff, amen, and his mama didn't like them either, amen, amen, and he's going on the bed, off the bed, in the room, round the room, out the door, up the door, he was going crazy because they were shooting firecrackers. But that's what we call freedom. I have the right to do it no matter how it infringes upon mm. I was just thinking, and again, uh, you know, I'm always talking. I got my sister-in-laws with me. God bless them, amen. And I was just kind of running this. I said to them, you know, because they're concerned with whether they interfered with me, whether they used their freedom to interfere with what God has to say. And I said, listen, I'm just going to stand up there and talk and let God say what he got to say. Amen. You ain't even interfering with him and me. Amen. Amen. But I was just thinking, and I'm just going to run it down to you the way it was coming out. And I'm like, is this not what the book of Genesis said was going on in Noah's days, right. the day of the flood? Is this not what the book of Judges said was going on even after the children of Israel got into the promised land? That every man did what was right in their own sight. Uh, is, this not what, uh, is this not what they call or the world call liberty? I mean, that everybody does what is right in their own sight. And it does not matter what you or I have to say. I just do what I want to do. Amen. Amen. But I'm reminded this morning that Joshua said this. For as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. In other words, 
thing about it is I found out mm, the truth of freedom is this or man needs limits. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Man needs limits. Yeah. Amen. Because I was thinking the dilemma of about it, about it all of freedom. You see, if everybody did what they want, Amen. when they want, how they want, to whoever they want, the other definition is chaos. Amen. Am I not right about it?
we'd have made the time longer. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I hear your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Because the question becomes now, how many of us are grown? Amen. How many of us are complaining? Come on. We have to be mindful and careful about the things that come out of our mouth. Amen. Because the truth of it is, when you're free up under God's law, amen, anything can happen to you. And he'll allow it. We already been told that he allows situations to occur in our life so that we might grow, so that we might mature. So anytime you start complaining about somebody bumping you in the back of your car, you better understand you are complaining and murmuring about the works of the Lord. How many of oh, you didn't get no any minutes right there? <laughs>
And here we are in 2021, just recognizing Juneteenth, All right, right. All right. the day of freedom. And guess what? We still ain't like free. All right. All right. Pastor, it's the same 
thing we do. <laughs> it's the same thing we do. All you got to do is listen to Channel 2 News and you listening to the news going by what they say rather than what Jesus said. Oh, uh, are you, come on, you might as well tell me the yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Are you not the only one that do that sometimes? Amen. I want you to know that I'm, not, I'm your pastor, but the bottom line is that I move up just like you. Yeah.
Yes, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Red Sea will part. Yes. Not only will it part, but you can walk through on dry land. Yes, ma'am. Now that's what my truth says. That's what my freedom says. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. I'm hanging out with God. Yes, he says this in the rest of the verse. Here's the third promise. It says, and the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. So in other words, will make you free. I'm sorry. And the truth will make you free. Amen. And so here's what we're talking about. If you know or continue in God's word, he said you will know who he is. Amen. And then it's only me who can make you free. Yeah. What are you talking about, Pastor? I'm saying you can live in the world all day long, but the bottom line is the world ain't got no freedom to give nobody. Yeah. How many of you know that the world's still trying to get free? Yeah. How many of you know that if you continue in God's word, you will know the truth yeah. and only he can make you free? He says, they answered him. He said, we be, we be Abraham's seed. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 we children of Abraham. Uh -huh. Yeah. We got special. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Clout. Yes, sir. Yeah. We got, yeah, we got the hook up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, we ain't never been in no bondage <laughs> to any man. And I'm saying, you better look back through history, bro. <laughs> Because the truth of it is, you've been in slavery. Amen. You were in slavery in Egypt. Yes, so I know you've been enslaved and amen. But the bottom line is, is that even at the time that this was forward, uh -huh. they were still in slavery yeah. to Rome. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because <laughs> right. we got Abraham as our father. <laughs> Ain't been enslaved to nobody. So how can you say, amen, you know I started having the talk ebonics when I started getting, he says, how can you say you're going to make us free? We are already free. Amen. How say this that? You may, you shall be made free. Amen. We are already free. Listen. Listen. Jesus is going to fool around. That's what I like about amen. him. Amen. He'll let you talk some junk. Yes, and then he just set up and just come with a straight face. That's right. And he answers and he says, Verily, verily. Hold up a second. My sweat in my eyes. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever that's in anybody, Amen. whether you Abraham or whether you of the Gentiles, no matter who you are, if you're a Jew, or, he said, Whoever. Yeah. Commit sin is the servant of sin. That's it. Huh? So I have a question for you this morning. How many of you got some sinful stuff going on in your life? Mm -hmm. That you are a bonded, you are in bondage to. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And I believe that they call it a stronghold. Yeah. Uh-huh. That when you are under a stronghold, amen. Oh, the little Debbie's. Let me just go on and use myself. When you, I ain't really in the stronghold of little Debbie's no more. It's been a while. Amen. But I can't say that about candy. <laughs> Amen. When you are in bondage to skills, how many of you know that that is going, you're going to have to pay? You are a servant to skills. Yeah. <laughs> 
you that some of y'all are in bondage. Uh huh. That some of y'all are in bondage to worry. Uh huh. Either you gonna worry or you gonna trust. Come on, Some of y'all are in bondage to something that the world have told y'all. Either you gonna believe what God said or you gonna believe what the Lord said.
you will be free indeed. Amen. Amen. What is he talking about? Again, as I said, this is Independence Day. Independence, liberty, if I, if I got it right, got the loan, do I have it right? Independence and freedom and liberty kind of work the same, right? They're the same. They're the same. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So listen, as I told you, today is Independence Day. While somebody else is celebrating their freedom in the world, it tells me that the church house huh, ought to be celebrating their freedom in Jesus Christ. Skittles. Amen. 
Amen. You're in bondage to something somebody said about you. Yes, ma'am. You're in bondage to something somebody has done to you. Come on, Father. You're in bondage. You God says. Amen. On the head. Amen. On the head. To something. I don't have to name it. I don't have to call it. This ain't no name it and claim it. Come on, Come on, Come on. You know who you are. Yeah. And you know what you're in bondage. Yeah. Yeah. All I got to do is pass the mic around and y'all tell me some stuff I ain't never heard before. Yeah. Huh? Y'all in bondage to it. Here's how I know. Because we all just look human. And we all in bondage to something. But God is saying to us this morning, if you want to celebrate true freedom, he says all you got to do is accept me as your Savior. Just accept me as your Savior. He says that then when you accept me as your Savior, just continue in my word. That's right, that's right. Just continue to read it. Listen, listen, I had the opportunity of sharing with a friend this, uh, this week. I'm like, listen, if you just listen to the word of God, yes. Because the word of God says this. He says, faith cometh by hearing. Yeah. So that means all I have to do is listen yeah. to the word of God. And even as I'm listening, it's building up my faith. Yes. Yeah. So then all you got, hey, God's word is like that. Yeah. It's just like it can do things. What did he say? I can do above what you can ask. That's right. Or even think. Oh, yeah. With your little pea brain. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> he said that I can do above, exceedingly above, what you can ask or think. And some of us hadn't gotten it yet. Because why? We want to stay with the same status quo. We don't want to grow. So we just don't think about what it can do for us. Go ahead if you want But I turn it over to God. I just do what he tells me to do. And then next thing I know, skills going to be gone, Angela. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, child. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor, I want to say thank you for your message. It, about freedom, Mama, I can't do the stories as well as my husband, but I do have a short one. Although I grew up in Michigan, I grew up, I was born in the 60s. Racism was real up there as well. I remember as a little girl, my mom liked to shop. And my mom, she liked to go into the white neighborhoods to shop. So what she would do, she would walk through the store. We would be right beside her. She would say, don't touch nothing. Just look it. Just uh, don't touch nothing. Just walk straight ahead. And one thing that I noticed about my mom, I would see how these ladies would look at her, but my mom would stand straight and tall yeah. with her head up. Yes, my mom was dark skinned, my dad was like, my mom always was quick to say, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> but the thing about being in the store with mama, where people don't want you there, if you accept Christ as your Savior, no 